Hello, welcome to my very short review on uh, a new, my new radio. Um, I've had lots of them in the past, but I've still got about four. But I just thought I'd buy a new one, 2017, the Baofang UV5R. Uh, what's in the box? It's all pretty much the same as it always was, uh, a short manual, one radio, very sturdy little radio. If you look at some of my um, previous reviews, I've run over this in the car and it worked. I mean, okay, yeah, it's a small car, not a very big car, but um, I've run over it and they're, they're, they're solid little radios, one aerial. Obviously you can get lots of different aerials. If you look at one of my other videos, I compare about six different aerials. Uh, one charger, sorry, one charge lead. One UK plug adapter. One uh, desktop charger stand. So we go in there. So you can't you can't charge these um, without. They have to stand in the case. Um, I have got an adapter instead of a USB adapter, basically, which plugs into there into the charge base, and you can use it off USB power. They do take a lot longer, but it's on the go, so that works. But that's on another of my videos if you'd like to have a look. And a hands free headset and the belt clip, which comes with a couple of screws, which are already in the back of the radio. You just take them off, screw that on, and obviously the battery. The good thing about these radios, um, like I say I've got three, I think I've got four of them, which means I've got four charged desktop chargers, four batteries. If one goes wrong, you can throw it away, keep the aerial, keep the battery, for cheap as chips. Um, this one is the UV5RTP. What does that stand for? Not sure. It's an 8 watt version. So it's a high powered version. Um, and I'm just going to go out in the field and give you a low, medium and power test. I'm not going to go too far away. Uh, there's a little bit of a hill between us, so hopefully that'll be enough. If it's not, then I'll have to do it again a bit further away. But what can I say about these radios? They're, they're absolutely great. They're about £25 off eBay UK. What can I say about these radios? They do. They're very sturdy. The batteries last a good couple of days on standby. Uh, they're incredibly cheap, as you know. They're VHF, they're UHF, they do marine band, um, they do the walkie-talkie, I can't remember what they call it, the walkie-talkie frequencies and lots of frequencies in between. But, uh, absolutely excellent radios. And pretty, not waterproof, but rain-resistant-ish. If you look on one of my other... Um, Videos again. I've done a waterproof review on one of the one of the uh, other radios, and it wasn't. It was no better than these. Okay, let's go out in the field and we'll see what sort of a signal we get. Okay, well, thank you. Hope that explains the high powered version. The 4 watts, the normal um, 
UV5R is great but this one's it's just nice to have a bit of extra power if you need it. You can obviously just use it on medium power on 4 watts and um, but if, if you need to get a bit further if you want to you can up it to high power. So the um, radio test wasn't that obvious. I'm just going to check the power. So it says low power. And let's key the mic and see what it says. About half a watt. Okay, about half a watt on low power. Okay, so medium power, about 3 watts, about 3 watts on medium power. And high power, hmm. Was a little bit more when I tested it just now, so um, I'm going to call it six, but about five, five to six watts. Okay, so it's not. Uh, I was thinking it was one, four, and eight watts, but it seems to be much less. But um, I'll tell you what I'll do now. I'm just going to plug a normal radio in. I'm saying a normal one. I'm just going to try another high powered radio, the TTP. As I said, I've got a number of these because I've got one in the car, one in the bag, one at home, one spare. So it's another one high power, so it says. Okay, so that is about six. So it looks like it's uh, half three and six, but now I am just going to check. An old radio, an old normal radio. On normal power. So both of those high powered radios. Menu. Power. Confirmed. Or six watts. Mic six, Delta Zulu Zulu. Testing, testing. Okay, so four watts. So the high powered radios were on high power about six watts, and the normal radios are about four watts. Okay, so not that much more high. I'm sure it says on the adverts, but double check. I'm sure it says eight eight watts on the adverts, but uh, maybe it doesn't. But the high powered radios are about another two watts, uh, two watts more than the um, normal powered. Is that worth it? Don't know. Wouldn't have thought so. Not really. Depends how much more it is. But I'll let you make your mind up. Thanks very much. Bye bye.